Hi, here is Moon and I continue to reduce my challenge log backlog. This time it's OP Kenobi from Tumper, American challenge log made in key knob cylinder. I find the name funny. OP is German for granddad. So let's get this granddad into the vise and pick it. American style with the Bible up. Okay, it's an American lock. Let's see, here is the tensioner. And I haven't unwrapped the key yet, but I did pick it already. And let's see. Just looking for binders. I think I had already one in the back. Now the something in the front, it's maybe number one. Some clicks on it, and a louder one. Let's call it picked. Let's see again in the back. It's number five. No, no, I'm oversetting, it doesn't feel right. Let's get it down again. Now I have a false set. Five feels solid. Four. Got some corrotation while pushing four. Three. Feels like it might be set. Number two. All right, something happened and I got a deeper full set. It was two or one, I'm not sure. Okay, one feels good. Let's try number two again. Two feels also good. Okay. Which one is still binding? Could it be five? Something really hard in the back. Okay, I think four might not be where it should be. Okay, now it gives lots of counter rotation, but I dropped everything else, I think. It's about number two. And we got an open. Yeah. Opa is down. OP. Let's see what it got inside. It was a fun pick. It was not too hard, not too easy. Nice feedback and well, a change for me. I usually pick European style, not US style. All right, what do we need to get it? We need tweezers. Mm, the spring is not going anywhere. Oh, it is already out. And you know what? Before cutting it, let's see how the key works. And what is the bitting? Because, well, I know it already, I picked it, but you don't. Let me show you the key. The key says Tumper and is hand cut in part so the numbers one two three are factory i guess and four and five are hand cut nice looking key and let's do it carefully not to destroy the lock 
All right, it catches a little, but it works as it should in both directions. Right, the shim. Where is my shim? Not prepared this time. Because it just yesterday destroyed one, gotten this fab padlock. So I didn't have one at hand right now, but they are close enough. And now it's in, and here's the follower. And let's see what we have. We have threaded chambers, all of them. You can see it quite well. Oh, the last one might be in stock, but the fours, first till fours are threaded. Let's get the key pins out. Key pins have some serrations and overset traps. We'll have a look at that a bit later. Another look at the threading here. Yeah, quite nice. And number one, some serrations. Number two, oh, and let's let's take the springs one by one. Springs are different. Number three, kind of tip in. Oops. Number four, serrated spool, all homemade, all very nice. All catching nicely on those serrations in the chambers, on the treading. And something like it tapered. It could be felt, by the way, by just lightly tapping it. The full set just got deeper and deeper. Let's see. What do we have there? Chamber number two is threaded. And chamber number four is threaded as well. One, three, and five are stock. And yeah, I guess we just now only need to have a close up on the pins. And yeah, they are very nice. Tapered in chamber five, serrated spool in four, tip in, in three, another serrated spool in deep one and two, and serrated in one. Different springs. And the pins with or set traps, especially on number four, whereas uh, uh, three, I'm not sure actually the threading is on two and four, but the key pins don't seem like this one is tapered to go easier in, but I don't think it will catch in the serration. But yeah, anyways, nice pick. Thank you, Tumper. Thank you for watching.